Hello everyone, the purpose of today's video is to show you how to write a script for Bash in Linux which will play a random audio file on startup. Many classic computers would play some kind of a audio file when you first turn them on or even classic game consoles. Take for example the PlayStation 2 or the PlayStation 1 or the Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color uh, and then older computer systems like Windows XP when you first log in, turn on the computer, that would make a sound. Some people would say the purpose was because computers took so long to boot up back then, people would walk away and the sound would let them know it's ready to be used. But regardless of the purpose, it's a very nostalgic thing, for me at least, personally, and I imagine for some others as well. And so I've been working on this project and managed to just barely figure out how to get a script together that would manage to play this sound at startup. But specifically, a random sound because I didn't just want to stick to one sound but I always want to change it constantly so instead of having to change the script every single time I want a different sound I made a script that would randomly select a file from a pr given folder so that's what we'll be doing today and uh, I'll be walking through the process step by step regarding prerequisites in Manjaro at least there's only one step you need to take Unless it's already pre-installed on your system, then you would need to install MPV. Now, you can do this through the Package Manager PAMAC, through the GUI, the user interface, by opening it, and then searching for MPV, like so, and install it from their official repository, Flatpak, or Snap. I would suggest using the official repository version, but if you prefer the terminal, simply open one up, sudo pamac install mpv in my case it's already installed so after typing in the password it just tells me it's already up to date but upon completing that it'll either tell you you're up to date or it'll install it and the reason for this is mpv allows us to open a file an audio file without a window so by opening the file instead of having it, you log in and it's showing a box on screen that plays the file and then it's just left there it'll just play in the background with no windows open so now I'll be demonstrating this script in action so you can see exactly how it works and get an idea of if this really is what you want in this case I'm just going to open where I have the script at on my computer and you can see here, I have the file where all my audio files are stored, and I have it in the same place as my startup script, just for my own convenience. You can have it organized differently if you like, and I'll walk you through that in uh, just a moment. So, so I have here my ran startup.sh, which is a script. And whenever I try to run this, I click Execute. And you can see that there's no window that opens up it just it just plays the sound I'll move this to my other monitor and show you nothing's opening behind it or hiding and it is a different sound mine cycles through the PlayStation 1 PlayStation 2 Game Boy Advance and Windows XP login I can add more sounds however I like I have mine configured to work with dot flat files FALC but if you prefer something like mp3 or any other audio file then you can do that as well so long as mpv supports it. I'll show you how to configure that as well. So now I'll be walking you through the basics of this script and how it works. I'm going to start with the bare minimum you need to be able to just copy and paste this script and use it without having to understand any of it. And then after that, I'm going to walk through a little bit more of what I understand of the script, which isn't very much, but it's more than the bare minimum you need to know. So the script here is only two lines, and there's only really one part you personally need to be able to configure, and that is this here. So the find command followed by the folder that you want your audio files to be stored in. In my case, the tilde for home, so it's home forward slash documents forward slash scripts forward slash startup sound. To demonstrate doing that in the file manager, home 
documents, scripts, startup sound. And this is the folder where I have my files for the audio playback. If you wanted to change that to somewhere else, you would just start from home with the tilde and then forward slash documents or forward slash downloads or forward slash whatever folder you like. You would just take it through the tree to do so. And that's all you absolutely have to be able to configure to be able to run this script. But as far as people who are interested in learning a little more about bash scripting, up here at the top, it starts with the shebang. So the pound and then exclamation point just tells this script that it is a bash script. It does run in the shell. And then forward slash user, forward slash bin, forward slash bash is just telling the script where to find the bash file, where to find bash at. So the find command followed by the folder it's looking in, dash type f dash name. Now my understanding here is that this is saying that it's finding in this folder, so that's this line here, finding in this folder, and the type of thing it's looking for is a file, dash name, so a file with the name in these little semicolons dot flack. And the asterisk here is a wild card, it's a variable, it's just saying asterisk.flack means anything with dot .flack in the name. So find in this folder a file with the name dot .flack. Anything else can come before or after, but it has to have dot .flack in the name. There's a break here, shuff dash in one, shuffle number one. So this is just saying to shuffle out a single file, not more than one. Another break, XARGS dash D quotation mark backslash N quotation mark MPV. This is the part I don't really understand very well. XARGS should be pre installed on your system. If not, you would need to install that as well. I didn't mention it in the prerequisites because I'm pretty sure it's pre installed, but I could be wrong. And I honestly don't know much about this part of the script. I need to look more into it, and that's something I'll be working on soon. And then end it with MPV, which is telling it which file to open, or which uh, media player to open the file in. So once the file runs and opens the MPV, it'll play without a window, and you'll have your startup sound. Now for the conclusion, this is how you would actually make it play on startup. All you have to do in Manjaro is find your startup program. And if you're not in Manjaro, most Linux distributions have some kind of an auto start or a, a launch program. In this case, um, the one for Manjaro is actually just called auto start. And it's right here under system settings. And you would go to add login script and then using the GUI you just point it to where your startup script is. In my case I have it here ran startup.sh and click open and you can see it's been added to your login scripts and once that's been done you can exit this go about your day and next time you log into your system it should play a startup sound. Alright that's all for today that should cover everything I genuinely hope this did help you if it did, feel free to leave a like and comment below, or if you have any questions, feel free to ask away. Um, if it didn't help you or you just don't like the way I presented it, don't blame you one bit. Feel free to leave a dislike. No one but me will see it, so it's our little secret, and um, you're not going to hurt my feelings, so it's okay. Whatever the case, I hope you have a great day from here and that this script does work for you.